day. Uh, so good morning, Victor. Good morning. Thank you for coming. So yeah. what have you been up to? Retired about 20 years. 20 play, years? Play a little golf. Yeah. Watch the stock market in the morning a little <laughs> bit. Okay. And that's about it. Well, I, I know that you go to Hawaii to visit your daughter. Haven't been for two years because of COVID. COVID, okay. And <clears throat> looking forward to going in 2022. Okay, so you're looking really fit. So what have you been yeah. doing? I kind of heard you've been uh, changed your diet. Yes, on a plant-based diet for a little over three and a half years now. Three and a half years? No meat. No, no meat. No oils. <clears throat> no oils. Asparagus broccoli, cauliflower, and have soy meats that I purchase okay. and cook it, stir fry it, and brown rice. Oh, so you can eat brown rice? Yes, a lot of it. Okay. And then what about desserts? Uh, we pass. Oh, <laughs> Or occasionally Sherry will make a plant-based cake, which cake? she did last week. Uh -huh. so it, it was very good. I gave it a 5.5 out of 5. Oh, that's good. So Oh, Sherry, you might have to. Sherry might have to share that recipe. Oh, she'd be happy to. <laughs> so, how did you get started um, in the nursing home? So, this is what I had heard that we were getting ready to start the series on the the nursing home, and uh, we had talked to Jimmy Yi, and Jimmy said, <clears throat> "You have to talk to Victor Yi." And we went, "Well, we didn't know, and why?" He said he did all the financing. So, how did you get? started in the early discussions? It was only because I filled my gas tank at Chewy's gas station <laughs> that Chew and I started talking back in about 1983-84. Mm -hmm. And one time I stopped there and he says, we're short two and a half, two point one million dollars to let the bonds get released so the nursing home can get started with construction. And we've talked to several banks, and they can't help us. I didn't think you could. I said, let's have a meeting. So I get, I'll get back to Chewy. I told him I'd get back to him. Mm -hmm. Went back to the bank, talked to the president of the bank, Bill Hay. Mm -hmm. Let's hold a meeting in the conference room and see who you can get to attend. Okay. Went back to see Chewy. He says, good. So he attended with Toko Fuji, oh. Gary Hicks myself and officials from three other banks locally that had heard the story before and they were willing to hear the story again in the Sacramento Savings Conference Room. So we had a meeting, we all heard the story from Chewy, from and, Chewy. and Gary Hicks and the 2.1 million. Sacramento Savings says we can do the 2.1 million letter of credit so your bonds can be released or we'll take 25%, whatever you choose. And he excused himself and left and came back. We did the whole 2.1 million letter and the bonds were released and ultimately the nursing home was started construction completed. So what was it like talking with Chewy and working with him? Oh, he was always very interesting and doing something good for this community to have an Asian base at least started that way mm -hmm. for a nursing home, something we needed in this community. Oh. So we were, we were glad to be involved at Sacramento Savings. So you talk a lot about Sacramento Savings, and I know that's where you worked. But I, <clears throat> I think going back uh, and uh, fast forward today, a lot of people don't know about Sacramento Savings and Loans. So, so tell us about that. It was a great local institution and ultimately in 1988, it was initially sold by the family that owned it. Mm -hmm. All the money went into a foundation for charity. And then it was purchased by the Allegheny Company. They held it six years and they sold it to First Interstate. I elected to retire from banking at that time, but I got a phone call when I joined another bank and helped them. So I went to another bank for six years and mm -hmm. retired in 2001. Well, I had an account at Sacramento Savings and Loan. Well, they were really good. First institution that I could recall that opened on Saturdays. Yes, I remember that. Nine to one on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And they were really, I think, locally and community based. Mm -hmm. But I enjoyed my tenure there and started making 
uh, home loans. I did a lot with the Asians and the community as a whole mm -hmm. and got promoted and eventually became an executive VP there and on the board of directors until it sold out it, ultimately in uh, 1994. Yeah, yeah, I remember the branch uh, locally in the in the south area, and then yes. there was one downtown. Yes, we had Green Haven yeah. and Florin and main office downtown, but they ultimately had uh, about 21 offices in Northern California area. Well, tell us a little bit more about that meeting. So it was you, you said Toka Fuji, uh, Gary Hicks, and uh, did, was Chewy there? Yes, Chewy, Chewy was there. there. Yes. But uh, <clears throat> what other banks attended? I, I don't recall oh. all the, all the banks, banks that were but there. But it was the three, local banks? Th three banks besides Sacramento Savings. There was four of us. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, Bill Higgs says, we'll do the whole thing or no less than 25%. But uh, it was an interesting meeting to learn what Chewy was doing for this community. Okay. So, so what... What made you want to get involved in this? To do something for the community that was needed. I'm glad that I was close to Huey and initially at the nursing home. I recall that I had meetings with Kim Ruckert, who was president of Comcast that purchased the first cable television in Sacramento. And I was put into Kim Ruckert's ear the nursing home that was being built on Rush River. Mm -hmm. And if I recall, he was the one that allowed cable television to come into the nursing home at no charge for a great number of years. Really? And it was... These Kim, are little tidbits of information we just don't know about. Oh, it was just conversations, and I was involved at Channel 13 on the board of directors, mm -hmm. and we were close to the television, cable television, when it came to town. And I told Kim, the nursing home, and in their community room. Mm -hmm. They had to have yeah. a TV set. <clears throat> and he saw that the cable ran along Rush River yeah, on the true. north side. Yeah. And he was able to get it into the nursing home at no charge for a number of years. They were a great community company also. Yeah, because cable, cable television. television is a big deal. Yes, <laughs> yes. But, That's pretty uh, much a, a lot of good entertainment. Uh, yes, it has been. But... Uh, there's home has been a, a great a, a necessity for this community. Unbeknownst to me, my grandmother ended up staying there for a couple of years. She was the 92-year-old lady that was beaten with a hammer in 1989. Oh, I, remember, I remember reading about that. And after the hospital, she stayed at the Asian Community so, Nursing so. Home for several years before she passed. Oh. Oh, okay. But so you spent a lot care. of time there then, though. We, we did spend a lot of time there, Sherry and I and the grandkids, too. Mm -hmm. And so you got to know the staff there. Y yes, yes. We saw them often. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. So and on, so what 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 made or got Sacramento Savings to, to guarantee the loan? They the knew it was a good loan and it was good for the community. And it was just a natural to do. To my perspective, that they really wanted to give back to the community. Definitely. And, so, and support. And so, but for, for being for the Asian, the nursing home, uh, first one of its kind, uh, catering to the Asian uh, community, uh, that's a bit grits for Sacramento to, to do. Yes, yes, yes. And it was good the whole community came together to help do the fundraising. I reflect back into 1984, where our daughter, son, Sherry, and I, we were in Hawaii, and we saw the Cush Crush Crush <laughs> in 1983 in yes. the Big Island. Yeah. <laughs> and then our daughter says, why don't we get them to come to Sacramento? I say, you write the letter. I'll sign it. Oh. She wrote the letter. She wrote the letter. And signed it and sent it to them in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh-huh. And they said they'd be coming to San Francisco in the Bay Area to perform. We said, why don't you do a day in Sacramento? They did two concerts. August 4th, 1984, and the beneficiary would be Ray Mars Mandarin Drum and Bugle Corps, okay. Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and the Asian Community Nursing Home. So At $10 a person, we raised over $4,000, and we divided that among the three. 
So that was a big fundraiser then. It was at $10 a person to see Crush in 1980. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did, and it was all volunteers by Capital Lions Club. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we had very few expenses. So we were able to, and we did that at Confucius Temple. Oh, okay. We yes. paid a little bit of rent, rent there. Yeah, yeah. And then we had the net proceeds be divided among the three. Oh, oh. Well, what do you have in your hand? This is the poster from The Crush back in 1984, where they performed at the Confucius Temple for $10 a person. And we were able to do two shows that night. Wow. Well, we should, have played, we should have brought some music so we could listen to them. Oh. <laughs> we might be able to get you up and dancing. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I had never heard of that, and I will have to start researching that, see if anybody else remembers. Oh, okay. That's a pretty neat fundraiser. But we had Dr. Gordon Wong and oh, okay. Leroy Fong, everybody in Lions Club part volunteered yeah. and participated, had two great shows. We had a reception at our house mm -hmm. between the two shows. Crush came and had refreshments while they mm -hmm. had a break. Well, that was really nice. But I'm, I'm glad we were able to do something to support in the er very early mm -hmm. days yes. of the nursing home fundraising. Well, in those early days, uh, they need, the nursing home needed a lot of money. And then yes. they went on to bingo. Yes. And so did did you work bingo? Did you do that too? I was excused from that. <laughs> You're so, too busy working securing the financing. Yeah, you know, it was it was busy in the old days yeah. of doing everything we had to do in the community. Mhm. Mm because we're going to our next story is going to be about bingo. Okay. And we're going to bring back a lot of memories of the people that worked that bingo to raise money, but the fundraising supplemented the the bingo in terms of uh, financially for the, the nursing home to be able to operate. Yes. But So over the years, what are a few of your most memorable moments of, of ACC or the nursing home? Oh, just watching its growth and expansion and everything else it's done since the nursing home was built. What do you think is, contributes to the success of, of the nursing home and ACC overall? All the employees and the volunteers and the programs they have from the uh, outreach on feeding mm -hmm. seniors and uh, Meals on Wheels with Winston's work mm -hmm. and just everybody's commitment as volunteers uh, around here makes it so successful. Yeah, we have a lot of volunteers. We have a lot of people that are, were there from the beginning. Uh, I did get a list of our board members from 1979, and Winston's right there along with Chewy. And, uh, you know, I think Chewy, uh, with his gas station, a lot of people got their gas pump there, and he, he kind of knew who was who coming through and was able to start conversations with everybody in terms of what uh, he saw as the needs of the nursing home. And, you know, I think knowing that you worked at in, in the banking and financing, uh, I think Chewy, um, great eye to talk to you about that. Well, he initially said, I didn't think you as a savings loan could do it. I said, oh. Let, let's, let's hear this. Let's, 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 yeah, let's talk about it. Let's hear the story. And I'm glad it worked out that the bonds were released and the construction was to begin. Yeah. So did you, did you go over and watch the construction? I didn't have time <laughs> to do that. <laughs> You're There's too busy a, banking, right? Right. <laughs> But I think for uh, Sacramento Savings and Loan was, was uh, a good financial institution yes. in Sacramento. And I think stories like this about how they came uh, to support the community and the work and really um, did that for the nursing home really helped secure uh, ACC building the nursing home and getting it off the ground. And as we're interviewing people, we're hearing about how the idea came together uh, with Helen Kwong, Jimmy Yi, and uh, other people uh, believing in that, that idea, that vision, to build that nursing home. And we really appreciate that Sacramento Savings believing in that vision, too. Well, I'm glad we were able to help in some small way, but it turned out to be very successful for ACC. Yes, and we really appreciate that. I'm glad we were able to help. So I heard that uh, one of our longtime supporters, Vicki Bazzoni, you knew her mother. Oh, her mother, Betty Sartelich, Betty. was a longtime switchboard operator, employee of Sacramento Savings. 
small world. She trained our daughter, Dina. She trained our, on the switchboard on uh -huh. Saturdays. She trained our son on the switchboard and to operate the parking lot and gates oh. on Saturdays. <laughs> so see. our son, Derek, who's now over 50, <laughs> was <laughs> trained by Vicki Bizzoni's mother. And she was just a, she was a great person for Sacramento Savings only place that I've known that she worked at. Wow, so I've known Vicki, I got to know Vicki as a volunteer. She um, is on the Care Center Committee, uh, okay. which is now the nursing home. And uh, her husband is over at the Care Center and she helps, she does, when we have our craft feed, when we were having it, she would do the refreshments. She would do the coffee and the tea and be right next to the bake sale uh, that I ran. And Vicki really uh, supports ACC. And so I think that's the connection <laughs> To ACC. Then she's great. They, we've known them a long time and known the mother a longer time. She really, really cherishes ACC. And please tell her I said hello. I will. I and, definitely and will. And Jeff. I will. So now I know that connection. Yes. I'll tell her about that and I'll tell her I saw you. Okay, please do. <laughs> definitely. Please do. Definitely. Yeah, any other thoughts you have you want to share with us? You know, I think you've gotten... A lot of things that I've really forgotten <laughs> yeah. until I had to think about it. Well, I think that's really good because when we're talking to other people, uh, as we have the conversations, they remember. And these are things that we're trying to find out in terms of how the, how the nursing home got started in the beginning. And the financing part, um, I think a lot of us didn't know. And so we're going to document this and really understanding how Sacramento Savings really stepped up and uh, was helped ACC and the board get the nursing homes uh, built. Mm -hmm. And you know, thinking back about how Chewy would talk to everybody at the gas station, uh, we really appreciate that. And we thank you for, for working this out for ACC and the nursing home. Oh, I appreciate it. Well, thank you, Victor. You're welcome. You have a thank great you. rest of the day. Thank you now.